Hello, in this session we will look at your IAM account settings and uh, credentials report. Now in the last session we looked at an example for your identity provider. So once again identity providers can be used whenever you want to manage your user entities outside of AWS that is when you already have your users outside of AWS then you can make use of your identity providers. So in case of your identity providers you don't have to create any users inside the AWS account you can uh, start using the existing users who are already there for example in your jump cloud uh, you can already use that uh, you can use that existing users and then you can create an IAM role in the AWS account and integrate that with the identity provider and your users can start logging in with the existing credentials to the AWS account. So that's where we can make use of your identity providers. Uh, now in this session we we will talk a bit about uh, your account settings and we'll also look at what is your credentials report. Now before we start off with that please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's first look at your account uh, uh, settings. Now the IAM account setting can be used whenever you want to set a custom password policy. So if you are using IAM users, all right. So let's say you are uh, giving users access by making use of your IAM users, you have the option of setting a custom policy uh, for your password. So you, you, so that your user will have to follow that password policy. To this is mainly used to specify a complexity requirement and mandatory rotations for your passwords like you know 30 days 60 days 90 days so that your users are not using any long term credentials which are same so if you do not set the custom password policy then the im user passwords must meet the default aws password policy so this is a default uh, password policy that is set however if you want to set a custom password policy you can utilize this so this is something like in your password there should be an uppercase, there should be a lowercase, there should be a number, there should, there should be a special character. Like that you can set a password policy. Now how do you set your password policy? So if you go to your AWS account in the IAM service, you should be able to see these account settings. When you click on that account settings here, you should be able to see the password policy. Right? So this AWS account uses the default password policy so you need a minimum of eight characters you need an uppercase lowercase numbers non-alphanumeric characters and then these are some other requirements now if you want to set a custom password policy you can click on edit and here you can specify so how many characters you want and then your password strength so require at least one uppercase one lowercase one number one non-alphanumeric character and then you can turn on a password expiration. So generally we follow a 90 days rotation period. And then password expiration requires administrator reset. So only the admin can reset the password. So allow the users to change their own password or prevent password reuse like this. You can set a custom password policy which is kind of you know like an additional layer of uh, security from your user's perspective. So your users will be forced to follow a very strong uh, password policy whenever they uh, set a new password or whatever the existing password that they are using. Likewise here you should also be able to see this STS. Now STS is basically what we use for your uh, IAM role in case of your uh, uh, temporary credentials. So your IAM role generates the temporary credentials by making use of this service. So security token service. So here you can see in which regions the STS is active and um, not active so you have the option so to change this if you want so like let's say you want to deactivate some of the regions you can go ahead and do it from here all right so this is basically your account settings and the next thing we have is your credential report now credential report is mainly from an auditing perspective so i am credential report can be used to generate and download a credential report now this credential report will simply contain a list of all the users that you have in your AWS account. So this is simply the IAM users that you have in your AWS account. So this will complain, it will simply contain a list of those users. And it will also contain some additional information like your credentials, which can include your passwords, your access keys, whether your MFA is enabled or not. And all that information will be available in this credential report. Now, we can use this credential report in terms of your auditing and compliance effects. So, you know, like let's say you have a, a compliance policy that you follow at an organization level to validate that 
to assist in that you can make use of this credential report now we can also use this report to audit the effects of your credential lifecycle requirements such as your password and access key rotation so when was the password rotated when was the access key rotated all that information will be available in this credential report now we can provide this report to an external auditor or grant permissions to an auditor so that he or she can download the report directly so this is mainly from an auditing perspective now how do you download how uh, how do you see the credential report so here if you go to this credential report uh, you can click on that and you can download this credentials report now what this will do is this will download a csv file for us so i should see a csv file so here that particular file so it's a csv file it should be available in your downloads folder and this is what you will see all right so here so as of now i have only two users so if you look at your console so here under dashboard you can see i have one user whereas in my report it so shows two users one is the uh, default user the root user so you can see the username was the arn uh, when this user was created and uh, whether password is enabled or not uh, when was the password last used then when was the password last changed um, then you can see the next rotation whether the mfa is active or not any access keys when the access keys was used when the access keys was rotated all these information will be available for you which can be really useful in your auditing so if you have like hundreds of users and you want to understand whether the users are active or not whether the users are uh, when was the last time they used the access key so this can be used from your auditing or compliance perspective so if you let's say your users is not active from the last 90 days you can go ahead and delete those users or if the users are not using the access key and secret key maybe for the last 90 days we can go ahead and delete those access key and secret key so that's where we can make use of this credentials report right so pretty much that's it so this should pretty much cover your iam service so whatever we have covered until now that should be the most important things that should be, you should be knowing as part of your iam service um, that pretty much completes the IAM service for us. All right. So again, users, user groups, rules, policies, identity providers. These are the most main things that you will be working when we talk about your IAM, and that should be sufficient for you to kind of you know attend the interviews and uh, uh, as long as you do the hands-on, that should be sufficient. So in the next session, we'll be starting off with a new service, which will be your EC2. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.